Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, we all seen that the internet exploded yesterday with the news of Cassie suing Diddy for alleged um, DV, drug use, uh, trafficking, uh, great it's like you name it and it may be in the documents and most people knew that diddy was a and is a monster but to what extent who would have thunk it the things that cassie has endured over the past decade is so horrific and my heart truly goes out to her and any of his other alleged victims what Cassie is doing by coming forward, telling her truth, taking the necessary steps to get help before she brought the allegations to the forefront was so on point. Seems like she wanted to make sure nobody can accuse her of being under the influence, not being bitter, not a liar, not be able to break her. So it seems that she... Um, has had her head on she got her head on straight cleared her mind and made sure that she was clean, thinking clearly before she came for then normally I say I'm not wishing I, I'm not wasting my or you know wishing my good prayers on dumb folks but I hope I pray that Diddy gets his just due because I know if there's a Cassie then I there are, uh, if there's one Cassie, there are many Cassies, several Cassies to probably to the magnitude. We don't even know. It's like, can you imagine being in a relationship and your boss forces you out of it to be in a relationship with him? And I do mean force allegedly and a man about two years, two times your age do you feel i mean do you feel lucky because he has money and you know he's the boss and you could feel um you know do you feel empowered or do you feel disgusted and you're afraid to say anything because you know that he's the boss and if you don't comply he can ruin your career before it even um get started so you comply thinking that if complying you can possibly come out on top or unharmed unscathed only to be threatened humiliated uh, uh abused mentally physically allegedly fed drugs against your will only to be tricked out um to several men several times a week and to have it filmed it's like, I know she has to, you know, think about every day. Am I going to uh, come across some footage of me with some strange man that I don't even know about on, coming up on the internet? Are my parents going to come across it? Or maybe one of my kids one day may grow up and come across something of me out there with some strange man and some... Um, some unknown place out of my mind doing unknown things. And it's like the people around both Cassie and Diddy, in my opinion, they're despicable human beings because, and, and I can't call them, I, well, I'm going to say they're despicable beings because I can't even call them human because humans would not turn a blind eye for something like this, for something so foul, so humane. So, no, I can't even call Diddy and the crew human beings at all. But I can call them cowardly bums and because <clears throat> anybody that can bear witness to the things that 
Cassie described in her, in her um, court filings, the things that she's dealt with, just like R. Kelly, did he had to have help to pull this off? He did not do it on his own. And because Diddy is the one with the money, the power, he's pulling the strings for everybody. When is enough is enough? How much money is enough? And how much power or just to be in, in a circle are you willing to endure to allow this to go on? Because people don't think about this could be um, this, this could be my sister. This can be my daughter. And this could, um, this could have very well been my mother at some point in time. So when people turn a blind, blind eye of things that they bear witness to, like such as this, I call them cowards. And I feel as, and I hope that they are brought down just and, and just as well as Diddy. I hope that Cassie brings the whole party down and bring them all down to their knees. Every last one of them. Because we have heard so many foul things about Diddy, but not to this magnitude. I mean, we've heard some pretty foul things um, even when his um, now baby mama, I believe she, that's the, the baby's mama to his uh, youngest child. When her, when the lady, what is her name? Gina went on Tasha K and did an interview and described the things that she endured from Diddy. I was hoping that more people came forward or that she got even louder and continued to um, pursue something against Diddy. And I'm, in my opinion, I believe that Diddy got to her, either brought her back or did the, you know, like he, like Cassie, um, described, probably got her, his people to bring her back. And, you know, and she's afraid. I don't know if she's afraid or what well, I'm going to say, um, possibly afraid. And because now she has a, a child, it's hard. How, I mean, what do you do? But I just, like I say, I just hope that Cassie gets her just due. I hope she's able to heal. I hope that, you know, she is, um, I, I hope that she continue down um, the path that she's, that she's on for her healing journey, journey. But it's just foul to me to know that people help cover this up for Diddy, allegedly, and continue to go on with their life doing their their regular daily activities and it's like like i say when is enough is enough and it's like this means to me for her to do this for so long endure this for so long the mistreatment and then you cover it up with lavish gifts and stuff and you give it you take it back trying to you know gain more power or each time you do something like this, it's like you're gaining more power and you're um, leaving them with um, being hopeless each time. Like I said, I just hope that Diddy and the crew, the whole crew, I don't care who it is, the whole crew needs to be held accountable because this right here, it needs to send out uh, a statement. It needs to... Um, they need to make an, an example out of Diddy, in my opinion, just like they're making an example out of R. Kelly. People need to stand, you know, stand together for Cassie and let people know that I don't care how much money you have, some things just not going to be overlooked. It's not going to be um, tolerated. Diddy is a monster. He has always been a monster, in my opinion. And it's time for Diddy to get his just due. And that's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.